The Power Mac G3 Blue and White was capable of running the Mac OS X Developer Preview. Today we're going to take a look at the Developer Preview from 1999. You will notice that a lot of technologies in this version of Mac OS X are similar to the Next Step operating system. Steve Jobs helped build this operating system when he left Apple and formed Next. You will also notice a lot of the technologies and design elements in this version of the OS X Developer Preview are still found in Mac OS X today. This Developer Preview had menus that could be torn out of the menu bar. These menus then functioned similarly to how they worked inside of Next Step. However, this feature did not make its way into the final release of Mac OS X. Notice the opaque window movement. This was not seen in a lot of operating systems, especially in the consumer field. This file browser was part of the Workspace Manager. This entire system was later to be renamed the Finder. Many developer tools and demo applications were included with the system. People who have used Apple's more modern developer tools will realize that a lot of the ways those applications work have features and design elements that date way back to this version of the operating system. For example, this application for building interfaces was actually called Interface Builder. This name lasted for quite a long time. Across the system, the window decoration colors could be changed. Again, another feature that did not last when Apple switched to the Aqua user interface. The terminal application also functioned rather similarly to how it does today. If you remember nothing else from this tour, I want you to at least remember what Yellow Box is, if you don't know already. Yellow Box was the name, at the time, for Apple's new object-oriented language. This was huge, as it allowed developers to implement modern OS features that weren't available in other versions of the Mac OS. This later evolved into Coco, which most OS X apps run on today, and Coco also evolved into Coco Touch, which is the API framework that helps power all of those iOS applications on iPads and iPhones worldwide. However, backwards compatibility with other macOS apps was still needed, so Bluebox was an emulation layer that could help run those classic macOS 8 apps inside of the newer macOS 10 environment. It's also worth mentioning that the transition to Yellowbox didn't happen overnight. Developers needed to rewrite their applications to take advantage of the operating system's new bennies. At this time, a lot of developers did not want to do this, so Apple introduced Carbon, which was a new API system that helped developers take current macOS applications and tweak them so they get modern benefits without having to be rewritten. So there you have it, a quick tour of macOS X Developer Preview 1. Would you like to check out our movie riffing comedy series? If so, you can watch that right here. Or perhaps you'd like to watch our anime Milwaukee cosplay music video? If so, then click here.